Hi, it's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a look inside of the new Masterbooks curriculum. It's Math Lessons for a Living Education, and this is the Level K. So I mentioned that I was going to be using this for my twin boys who are um, turning five, and um, I mentioned it in my curriculum video, and it hadn't come in yet, and so now it's in, and we've been using it actually for a little while now, and so I can give you a little bit of a review as well as a look inside of it so you can see if maybe this would be a good fit for your family. I really love to do these reviews and look inside videos of homeschool curriculum because I feel like it's the next best thing to you, you know, like coming over and looking through the book yourself or maybe going to a um, homeschool convention and being able to flip through them there. It's not always feasible. I know I've never been to a homeschool convention. I've got a lot of young kids and so it's hard to get away for things like that. Um, so I rely heavily on YouTube, um, you know, reviews and people who will show the inside of the book a little bit so that's why I really enjoy doing these videos as well if you're new to my channel welcome I'm a homeschooling mother of four children I have a first grader and then twin boys that are in kindergarten and then my youngest is one so obviously she's not homeschooling but uh, on my channel it's just kind of a lifestyle channel and um, mommy stuff I love homeschooling talking about homeschooling I also love like decorating and home decor I've done some cleaning videos and I love healthy eating and living naturally things like that so there's a little bit of everything over here on this channel so like I said if you're new here welcome and I'd love it if you would subscribe so I'll just start by saying that this is a very gentle approach to math for level K so last year my first grader who she's in first grade this year last year she was obviously in kindergarten and we did the good and the beautiful level K math um, I've mentioned in past videos, it didn't really work for our family. Um, I think mostly because I found and she found the all the manipulatives to be a little bit fussy and just kind of a lot of work. And um, she grasps math very quickly and easily. So um, it wasn't really worth all of the pulling all the things out and lining them up to illustrate to her because she already would know the answer before I even did all those things. So um, that's why it didn't work for her. It may end up working for my boy later on um, but we're trying like I said we wanted to try math lessons for a living education this year not the good and the beautiful for them um, but that is what I'm comparing it to that's the only thing I have to compare it to is um, the good and the beautiful level K that we did last year um, and I will say that this is way more like elementary I guess um, you know the concepts that they're learning in here um, to me seem almost more like pre-k concepts in my opinion um you know by the time they finish this book there's not even any addition being taught um you know they're they're just like working on shapes and counting um like they like counting up to 10 for instance and i know my boys they are so my boys are four uh, about to turn five and they turn five just before the cutoff in my state that says that they need to do kindergarten this year so they're on the young end so I wanted it to be gentle. I wanted, you know, to take things slowly for them, um, especially because they're boys, which they tend to be uh, maybe not quite as advanced academically. Not all children, but are not all boys, but um, mine are a little bit, and they're twins as well. So that also is, ha is a factor. Um, and then of course they're on the young end. So um, all those things combined made me think that okay. I need to take a gentler approach and go slower with them, not jump into something like the good and the beautiful, which is more advanced. So with that being said, my boys, um, like I said, they're not even five yet, but they know how to count to 10 already. I mean, they know how to count much beyond 10. So um, even for them, it's a little um, young, I guess, which really kind of surprises me. Um, just the difference in the curriculum from the Good and the Beautiful Level K Math and Math Lessons for a Living Education Level K Math. Like, how could these both be for kindergarten? It's kind of crazy to me. But um, even though I feel like it's young for my boys, we are still enjoying it. I think it will give them a good foundation. So I think we'll move through this book fairly quickly with my boys because of that. Because of that. And um, so we'll just see how they do and we might end up going ahead, you know, mid midway through the year ordering the next level for them, level one, um, and we'll see, we'll see how they do. So I hope that kind of helps you get an idea of where it is. Um, I don't have, like I said, many other math curriculums to compare it to besides the good and the beautiful, um, but I hope that kind of helps you gauge kind of where it is and like how hard it is or advanced or not advanced. So let's go ahead and take a peek inside of the book. So. 
To start with, um, we have the scope and sequence, of course. So you can see here, if you wanna pause the video, you can. Um, you know, we're doing counting and circles and you know, we're looking at triangles, rectangles. Um, they're doing some comparisons, some opposites and symmetry, differences and similarities. Um, then they have number of the week. The next page talks about using the course. Um, it says approximately 30 minutes per lesson, five days a week for 36 weeks. Um, there's answer keys in the back, worksheets are included, designed for grade K in a one year course. I'll read the little course description to you. It says, this book was written to be used by you and your young student together. It is the story of a twin brother and sister as they interact with their family, friends, and town. They begin making connections in life and find it is full of learning opportunities. As you read their story, your student will begin to feel a part of the twins' lives. They will learn about counting, basic shapes, opposites, positional words, graphing, and more. They'll also learn about the weather, nature, and how unique God created them to be. They'll be excited to join the twins. They encounter living math adventures. I hope you have a grand time on this adventure with the twins. So there's a little course description, um, course object objectives, uh, learning to count to 10, um, understand one-to-one -one correspondence up to 10, explore weight and measurement through playing cooking, make connections in the world by noticing basic patterns, shapes, and concepts of time. Um, talks about how uh, mathematics can be taught as a living subject, which is, you know, what kind of drew me to this. I do love the stories that it tells in the beginning that kind of relates it to real life. Um, so we've been enjoying that. There is a materials list, um, pretty extensive, but everything is fairly basic and, and, you know, things that you might already have on hand. So uh, nothing too crazy there. All Masterbooks curriculums come with a suggested daily schedule in the front. I don't really use it. Um, I've found with Masterbooks that we can actually get a lot more done than it suggests that you get done uh, in the allotted time that it tells you to um, to spend on that subject. So I don't really use the suggested daily schedule, but it's there for you if you're the type of person who likes that kind of thing and you wanna check it off and write their grade or whatever. Um, and then it just jumps right into lesson one. So lesson one is counting to five circles and then calendar concepts. Um, and it starts off with a story that's really cute and um, my boys really enjoyed it. And we're talking about rainbows and each lesson has an application and a critical thinking um, area and just little activities. It definitely is open and go. Um, I do love the little critical thinking part. Um, as you can see, pretty elementary. Um, I'll be interested to see, um, I'm pretty sure this is a new curriculum. It wasn't available on their website when I went to go order it. It was, they were waiting for it to be printed. Um, so I'm interested to see what other people think of it and what they think of how um, easy it is, how basic it is, and how it um, compares to like some of the other curriculums out there. Um, but here we are at lesson two. Um, again, the story is really nice. My boys have been enjoying it for sure. Um, just move ahead a little bit. Let's go here. So we're talking here about cooking and measuring, diamonds and graphing. But even at the back of the book, we're still just, you know, tracing and um, coloring. And so it's just very gentle, very slow going. Um, but for my boys and the situation that we are in with them, with their age and all of that, I feel like this is going to be good for them and just lay a good foundation. Uh, and I'm thinking, like I said, that we'll go through it pretty quickly. So I hope the look inside and just kind of the information I gave you about the curriculum was helpful to you. I hope it helped you to make um, a decision for your family. Um, if you have any questions, you can definitely leave them down in the comments. I love talking with you guys in the comments. I respond to every single comment. I love to hear from you guys and answer any questions that you may have about the curriculum. I'm working on a few other curriculum videos that are gonna be coming out as well as just some other lifestyle videos, things like that. So I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and stick around. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.